Hello, I'm reviewing the Iron Man trilogy to Iron Man 1 to Iron Man 3. I give all three Iron Man movies a mediocre and above average for these movies. Some of the most, there's only one that, I, uh, the, the best one for me is the sequel, Iron Man 2. I give that an 8 out of 10 above average. The first, other, the other, the other two, that's the first one and the third one, the final installment, I give a 7 out of 10 for average. Stupid fun. And forgettable mess. I forget these movies. Oh, I. Uh, pieces. I just thought these movies were dumb. Uh, so yeah, and I give Black Panther. And I'm going to also talk about Black Panther in this now. And I give Black Panther a 7 out of 10 because it's mediocre average. The thing is, I like that these movies feel like the ones, the 7s out of 10s. I feel like once you see one seven out of ten in the Marvel movie, you see all of them. It just feels like once you see the weaker ones, you see all of the weaker ones. That was seven out of ten. And I do put the first Iron Man movie on that list. Of the weaker Marvel movies by Marvel Studios, exclusively by them in live action only. In their timeline. The ones in the main continuity. Timeline. That's Marvel Studios timeline. Play that that they made. Uh, okay. So the reason why these performances, a lot of performances, are forgetful, including the main characters, is uh, sometimes. There's a lot of cringy stuff and dialogue in these movies. There's Marvel movies with the Iron Man trilogy and Black Panther movie. With T'Challa. Black Panther played by Chadwick Boseman, who has passed away by now. Who was a very talented actor, but this movie was such a garbage script. For such a talented actor. And... And I feel bad that he played Black Panther, and I think that was a bad mistake. Because now he's going to be running off for playing Black Panther. And instead of playing, you know, actual good movies, like he, like he, like actually, like when he played, uh, the movie Get On Up, and he, uh, and, uh, movie Void 2, the movie about Jackie Robinson, that was a great movie. Uh... I just wish he would this Black Panther movie wasn't such a dumb movie. Yeah, for such a talented actor like Jack Baldwin. And I'm sad this kind of was going to be the thing he's probably going to be known for now. Makes me sad. Uh, this kind of makes me think, boy, that's kind of a sad thing. It makes me think it's sad. Makes me feel sad for him. Because, like, it probably nobody's going to really notice how talented of an actor he was. Well, that's going to be people going to forget because this is probably going to be the big scene in his career. And Shadow in the Black Panther movie kind of is lame of a character in the his own movie, Stan movie as Black Panther. This is my problem. It's all my same problem with Robert Downey as Iron Man. He's lame. A lot of the times, he's just the lame or dumb. I mean, yeah, I mean, he's lame, too lame to carry his solo films. And, um, Robert Downey's on I mean, I thought. Every time when he's on screen as I'm in, I just wish... Why? Why is he Iron Man? Why was he picked as Iron Man?
I don't see it. It doesn't look a whole lot like Tony Stark from the comics. He's not really handsome like Tony Stark from the comics is. Robert Downey isn't that handsome, okay? I think he's just a funny looking dude. He has frog like features like Tobey Maguire with his face, you know? He looks like a frog. Ribbit. Like human frog. If a human frog mutated into a human. He looks like the fucking beast at the end of Beauty and the Beast when he turned human. That's what Robert Downey Jr. looks like to me. That's how unattractive I think his face is. And I don't know why. Why we have to get such unattractive people to play I am to play? Why we get the one um, ugly fuck to play I am man? Why are we getting ugly fucks to play superheroes? Michael Chiklis, Tony McGuire, Robert Downey Jr. Were the nine supposed to be ugly people in the comics? Yeah, Ben Grimm doesn't become ugly in the com. Ben Grimm's a handsome dude in the comics, and that's why it's so sad when he becomes the becomes the mutates into the thing. That's part of the sad story because he was a really attractive dude in the comics, a really athletic dude, in the ultimate timeline and the classic timeline of the which I've only seen both old little ultimate comics and classic comics of Fantastic Four. And I don't know why, but Michael Chiklis is fucking ugly. And I don't know why can't we get a handsome guy to portray the tragic role of Ben Grimm in the Fantastic Four movie from 2005. That's supposed to be a, a handsome man turned hideous. And can't change back. But can only, only become a hero. And... Uh, that's the evidence uh, and becomes a hero for it, you know? Uh, 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 it just, I just think Michael Chiklis was a mistake for Ben Grimm, but was a great as the thing character of Persona. When he changed, when, like, I think he should, he should have gone someone else to play the human half of Ben Grimm in the Fantastic Four movie from 2005. Because he sucks as Ben Grimm. He is not fucking attractive. Ben Grimm is supposed to be a hunk. He's supposed to be tall, muscular, and, and have hair. And not chubby. Michael Chicklicks is chubby. He checks all these boxes. On screen. Of oh, oh, that, 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 that's that's that ain't that's, uh, he checks all these boxes that everything that's lacking to look like Ben Grimm. Because he's a short, fat, ugly, disgusting looking thing of a fellow. Looks like he does drugs. Like crack. Probably how he got balls in the first place and got all of those wrinkles. Don't do drugs, kids. Otherwise, you'll look fucking ugly like Ben Grimm. Oh, but that's okay. The movie knows that he's ugly because Chris Evans points it out that how ugly Michael Chiklis is as Ben Grimm before he becomes the thing. So what's the point of... Doing of adaptation of Fantastic Four origin story if you can't do the basics right. You know, if you're going to change all the backstory, backstory purpose of the characters, but just get, like, if, is this stupid? The Fantastic Four movie from 2005. And. I'm reviewing the Fantastic Four movie from 2005. Fuck it, I give that an 8 out of 10. It's above average. And this movie was a fucking letdown. It wasn't as good as 2003's Daredevil movie. I said that, you... I'm... That's how mad I am.
because 2003's Daredevil movie was a letdown, even though I liked that movie. I give that a 9 out of 10. I mean that. But for some reason, I can't give this a 9 out of 10. I just say it's above average because I don't really love this movie at all. There's so much wrong with this movie. This movie was a mistake! I give the Fantastic Four movie from 2005 and the fucking extended cut from 2005. The extended cut of 2005 Fantastic Four. Solid 8 out of 10. Fuck yeah, this is above average movie. Fuck this movie. This movie's not worth putting on one of my favorite lists of all time. This is me, Yoko, fucking forgettable disappointment this is. 8 out of 10. 2005's Fantastic Four gets an 8 out of 10. Oh, and Iron Man 1 gets a 7 out of 10. Iron Man 2 gets an 8 out of 10. Because Scarlett Johansson was the best part of this movie, okay? Black Widow. Preparing the Black Widow is the best part of this movie, okay? That gig, that bumps it up a bit. Above average. Best I am movie in the goddamn trilogy. 8 out of 10. Mandarin. No Mandarin. No villain. For Iron Man to go up against. 7 out of 10. Because the person that advertises the Mandarin that's supposed to be the Mandarin on the trailer is not the Mandarin if you haven't seen this movie yet. Spoilers, Mandarin's not the Mandarin. This is a play, a guy acting as the Mandarin. While the real guy that's the, that's the main bad guy is, is behind the curtain sky scenario. Metaphor. Explain. Premise of the movie. Seven out of ten, Iron Man three gets. I don't know which is worse, seven, Iron Man one or th or three. Which is bigger letdown? Tell me, universe. I don't fucking know anymore. And that's why Iron Man trolls is a mediocre franchise to not to get into. Fuck this movie's franchise. Can bite my dick. Metaphorically. Not literally, I hope not. I meant to have a joke and a metaphor. And so I can bite my dick this move this franchise. All right, man, franchise sucks. Not a good franchise to get into. It's mediocre at best. Like this video, please. Check out my other content, please. Share my content, please. And subscribe by hitting the bell first, and then second, hit the subscribe button. That's how you get subscribed. Goodbye.